senses we possess. It has a direct pathway to the brain's limbic system, which is involved in emotion and memory. This connection explains why certain smells can evoke strong emotions and vivid memories. When it comes to food, aromas play a vital role in determining our preferences and cravings. Food aromas are complex mixtures of volatile compounds that are released during cooking or preparation. These compounds interact with olfactory receptors in our nasal passages, sending signals to the brain that are interpreted as specific smells. The appeal of these aromas is influenced by a combination of biological, genetic, and environmental factors. From a biological perspective, the appeal of food aromas can be traced back to human evolution. Our ancestors relied on their sense of smell to identify edible and nutritious foods, as well as to avoid spoiled or toxic substances. Over time, humans developed a preference for certain smells that were associated with high-energy, nutrient-dense foods, such as those rich in uh, fats, sugars, and proteins. These foods were necessary for their survival, especially in environments where food sources were scarce or unpredictable. Genetic factors also play a significant role in shaping our olfactory preferences. The human genome contains hundreds of genes that code for olfactory receptors, each of which is sensitive to different odor molecules. Variations in these genes can influence an individual's sensitivity to certain smells and their perception of food aromas. This genetic diversity contributes to the wide range of food preferences and aversions observed across different individuals and different populations. Now, one of the most intriguing aspects of food aromas is the often stronger appeal of unhealthy foods compared to healthy ones. Unhealthy foods, particularly those high in fats, sugars, and salt, tend to emit more potent and appealing aromas. This can be attributed to several factors. Uh, firstly, the Maillard reaction a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars plays a vital role in the aroma of cooked foods. This reaction occurs at high temperatures and is responsible for the browning and development of complex flavors in foods, such as grilled meats, baked goods, and fried foods. The Maillard reaction produces a variety of volatile compounds that contribute to the rich, savory, and sweet aromas that are highly appealing to our senses. Foods that undergo this reaction are foods that are often high in fats and sugars, which enhance the intensity and complexity of the aromas that are produced. Uh, secondly, fats play a significant flavors. Fat molecules can dissolve and trap volatile aroma compounds, releasing them slowly as the food is consumed. This creates a prolonged and more intense sensory experience, making fatty foods more appealing. Uh, additionally, fats have a unique ability to activate specific receptors on the tongue contributing to the overall perception of taste and aroma. The evolutionary basis for this preference lies in the high energy content of fatty and sugary foods. Our ancestors needed to consume calorie-dense foods to 
sustain themselves during times of scarcity. So, as a result, humans evolved to find the smells and taste of these foods particularly enticing. This evolutionary trait persists today, even though the availability of food has drastically changed. Uh, geography also plays a significant role in shaping the aromas of foods and our preferences for them. Different regions of the world have distinct culinary traditions influenced by the availability of local ingredients, the local climate, and cultural practices. These factors contribute to the development of unique flavor profiles and food aromas that are characteristic of specific cuisines. Uh, for example, the spices and herbs used in Indian cuisine like uh, cumin, coriander, and turmeric create complex and aromatic dishes that are distinct from the flavors found in Mediterranean cuisine, which relies heavily on olive oil, garlic, and oregano. The fermentation techniques used in East Asian cuisine, such as those for making uh, soy sauce, miso, and kimchi, produce distinct umami-rich aromas that are highly appealing to those familiar with these flavors. The preference for certain food aromas can also be influenced by exposure and familiarity. People tend to develop a liking for the smells and flavors of the foods they are exposed to from a young age. This phenomenon, known as sensory adaptation, means that individuals raised in different cultural and geographic environments may have different olfactory preferences based on the foods they grew up eating. Uh, cultural factors also play a role in shaping our perception of food aromas. Uh, cultural practices, traditions, and social norms influence the types of foods we consume perceive their aromas. Uh, for instance, certain foods that are considered delicacies in one culture may be perceived as unappetizing or unusual in another. The cultural context in which we experience food can greatly impact our olfactory preferences and aversions. The modern food industry has harnessed the power of food aromas to enhance the appeal of their products. Food manufacturers use a variety of techniques, including flavor additives and enhancers, to create more enticing aromas. These additives can mimic the smells of natural ingredients or amplify existing flavors to make products more appealing to consumers. These strategic use of these techniques in processed and fast foods often results in highly aromatic and flavorful products that are difficult to resist. Uh, marketing also plays a significant role in shaping our perceptions of food aromas. Advertisements often emphasize the sensory appeal of foods using visuals and descriptions that highlight their aroma, taste, and texture. This can create strong associations between certain foods and positive experiences, further enhancing their appeal. The power of suggestion can be so strong that it influences our perception of the actual aroma and flavor of the food, making it seem more appealing than it might otherwise be. style and diet have also influenced our preferences for food aromas. The availability of highly processed and convenient foods has changed the way we experience and perceive food. These foods are engineered to have intense and appealing aromas, making them more desirable than natural and processed foods. The convenience and accessibility of these foods combined with their sensory appeal contribute to the preference for unhealthy options over healthier alternatives. 
dissolve in onion fats, sugars, and salt can alter our taste preferences and sensitivity to certain aromas. Regular consumption of these foods can lead to a preference for more intense flavors and aromas, making healthier options seem bland or downright unappealing by comparison. This shift in preference can create a cycle Certain foods smell more appealing than others. I hope this has been.